Just a quick update here from Schwab Digital on the Gold Clip version 1.1.1. If you don't have this update, uh, update to it uh, ASAP. Uh, two major changes to it, or one is uh, somewhat major. Uh, apparently, uh, there are two forms in the gold clipping. There is the classic and the modern. In the classic one, in the original coding, uh, the curve wasn't uh, represented exactly as it should be. It was more linear than what it was meant to be. And it is described as a quadratic round soft knee curve. What that means in essence and in usage is that you can drive it more before sort of reaching saturation or the saturation uh, starts off a bit smoother. It takes you a little bit longer to get there, allowing you to sort of push into it a bit more if you want to. The one other feature there is that they put the a clip filter on off as a feature. The clip filter um, is essentially is the filter that is attached to the clipper itself. So it's actually cutting frequencies at that point where the clipping is actually occurring. Uh, brings it slightly down. This is like up at 17K, where it's sort of bringing it down only during the time when it's clipping just to prevent uh, artifacts that would be created by it. So that's the basic of it. I'll show you here just real quick using the same example. Uh, with the gold processing here, classic setting, right? Not the modern setting. So that's essentially just getting much farther before you actually start to, you know, in terms of how much gain that you can bring in. I think it was hitting the same feeling where I was starting to get to a bit gritty or distorted, um, about 2 dB lower. So this gives you a little bit more range, allowing you to get more um, makeup or uh, loudness out of your uh, master. So a really cool addition. If you have not watched the video on Gold Clip, check it out right on this very same channel. I do a full review of all the features. The only two things that have changed are the two things that I talked about here. That's version 1.1.1. That's an update uh, downloaded from Schwab Digital. And if you don't have the plugin already, check out the full review of it. A really cool one and uh, worth checking out for sure. All right, there you have it.